Chandrayaan-3 Success, India's New Chapter in Space History, Success Vikram Lander landed on the South Pole of the Moon Chandrayaan-3 feet, Chandrayaan-3's Vikram Lander has successfully landed on the South Pole of the Moon, creating a record, while the Chandrayaan-2 project was half-failed, the Chandrayaan-3 project has now been successfully implemented. ISRO has successfully landed both Vikram Lander and Pragyan rover on the Moon, the Chandrayaan-3 project will not have an orbiter like Chandrayaan-2. Instead there are only two Vikram Lander and Pragyan rover. It also includes a propulsion model called Propulsion. This is the lander that took the rover to the Moon. What are the parts? This Chandrayaan-3 has following two important parts. Propulsion module it is a low part of the overall system in the head of the Chandrayaan rocket. The propulsion module is the small engine that was used to periodically change course to take Chandrayaan-3 towards the moon after it was placed in Earth orbit. It was this propulsion module that carried Chandrayaan-3 from Earth's orbit to an orbit 100 kilometers above the moon. It is a box-like structure with rocket-like thrusters at the bottom. It has a solar panel to charge the thrusters. This is where the lander will be mounted. Inside it will be the rover. Apart from the lander and rover, there is also a system called SHAPE. It will carry out a survey of Earth's size from lunar orbit. Chandrayaan-3 Lander The Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft carries a lander named Vikram, Sanskrit for Veera. It looks like a box. This will help to land Pragyan rover on the moon. It will help to record the thermal conductivity in the landing area and sense the earthquakes. It has four legs. Likewise, there are thrusters on all four sides. It can deliver 800 newtons of power. Rover, inside this will be Chandrayaan 3's rover. Pragyan, wisdom in Sanskrit, emanates from Vikram. Its internal cameras will watch for obstacles on the moon and move carefully. Accordingly, even if the lander moves away from Vikram, it will always be in Vikram's line of sight. It will study the surface and soil part of the moon, it works like a mini lab. It will explore the upper part of the moon, study samples, take samples, send some photos back to Earth, and study the geological and chemical inside. It has six wheels in total. How did it land? Vikram lander deheightened at 5.45 pm today. The lander module was lowered towards the moon. The Vikram was fielded with rub breaking and altitude hold phase. In this the lander was landed gradually from a height of 30 km. In 11.5 minutes, the Vikram lander was brought up to an altitude of 7.4 km. 1.68 km km the lander hit the ground at a speed of seconds. Its height was then reduced by 6.5 km through the altitude hold phase, then its altitude is further reduced by ALS with the help of thrusters through automatic landing system. At this point the Vikram lander descended automatically. ISRO has not given any comment on this. This continued for 3 minutes carried up to a height of 800 meters. Then its height and speed were reduced with the help of thrusters and the lander was lowered further by ALS. The height of Vikram was reduced until it was finally 10 meters tall. Between these missions, the lander found out where to land on the moon with the help of a camera. The second location was researched as the first location found was incorrect. Finally, the lander was carried to a height of 10 meters and the Vikram lander was successfully landed by pre-balling from there. What is the objective? ISRO has set three main objectives for the Chandrayaan-3 program. Landing the lander properly on the moon. Observing and monitoring the rover's maneuvering capabilities on the moon. Studying the chemical and natural composition, soil and water properties of the moon. Exploring the south side of the moon what will happen, while many people are talking about Vikram land and landing on the moon. Here we explain what will happen after it lands, what will happen, while many people are talking about Vikram land and landing on the moon. Here we explain what will happen after it lands. After the lander lands on the lunar surface, 
one side panel of the Vikram will expand, creating a ramp for the Pragyan rover to exit. Pragyan's wheels are emblazoned with the tricolor flag and ISRO's logo. Pragyan comes out from Vikram's stomach. The rover comes out by sliding through the panel on the lander. It is also noteworthy that when Pragyan rolls, the tricolor flag and ISRO logo will be imprinted on the lunar surface, forming the symbol of India.